What's going on, my Lucy fans? My name is Lucy Sands, and today we are going to be playing The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked. But I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything, Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. And that is where we start. So welcome to The Binding of Isaac Repentance. As you can tell by the name, this game has religious themes to it. So if you get triggered by that stuff, then I don't know what to tell you. You may not want to watch this, but if you don't care, then let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to be playing on file 2, because file 1 is my personal file. Um, to start off with, we're just going to start as a regular run on normal mode. So here's our character select. We have Isaac, Magdalene, Cain, Judas, Eve, Samson, Azazel, Lazarus, Eden, Lilith, Apollyon, Bethany, and Jacob, and a few secret characters that we don't know about yet. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with Isaac's win streak. Or, not win streak, Isaac's run. Alright, uh... So, basically, have you ever played a, Zelda, a 2D Zelda game? Yeah, imagine that, but hard as heck. And there you have the Binding of Isaac. So, that's basically what the gameplay consists of. You have your hearts as your health, money, which is basically pennies, nickels, and dimes, uh, bombs, and keys. Then you also have three types of items. One thing I do need to do... Wait, is this already on? Oh, good. It shares the same settings from my original account. So, we also have three types of items. Four types, actually. We have pills, cards, and runes, passive items, trinkets, and then active items. I'll let you know when we get one of each. And we just found our boss room. We have not gotten our treasure room. So, let's go ahead and kill these things. Come on, die. So, I've fallen in love with this game over the past two years, I want to say. I had it on Switch, then when Repentance came out and I found out that it exists now, I had 
I had bought it on Steam. So, we are playing the latest DLC and the last DLC that we know of. I do not plan on adding any content mods, maybe just stuff that'll help me out, prevent me from having to Google what every item does, because I have a, a small brain. I do not know how to remember this stuff. Uh, come on, stupid bodies. Uh, looks like there's still one left. Yep. Alright, now, let's go ahead and enter our treasure room. Use our pill, 48 hour energy. 48 hours. The lead pencil, he's a bleeder. So basically what this does is it gives us a chance to shoot out a burst of, well first of all, bloody tears, and then a burst of bloody tears. So, yeah. That's going to increase our damage, I believe. And also, it's a lot of tears just bursting. Anyways, here's our boss for this floor, Monstro. He is probably the basic boss of this game, I'd like to say. Him and Larry Jr. are some of the most basic bosses in this game. Easiest ones for me to take on. Basically, Monstro here will jump around the screen. He will fire shots off like that. And he can jump off the screen and then try and crush you. And you can only... The way you dodge that is by paying attention to his, um, his shadow. Anyways, I got hit here, so unfortunately this isn't going to be a flawless run. <laughs> now the funny thing is, this game is all about unlocking stuff. There are like 600 achievements to this game. I'm not even kidding, like 600 achievements. It's ridiculous. Anyways, here we got an item. Bosses always drop passive items, like our pencil. So over here, by the map, you can see we have... A pencil. Hold on, wait. Uh, I just wasted our one and only bomb. I need to check. Uh, how do I usually keep it? I think I keep it like that. Anyways, this will give us extra health. Only it does not fill it, so we still have the same health, we just have an extra heart container. There are quite a few items like that in the game. Anyways, here we're going to move on to our next floor. This will be the basement too, and we get a new mechanic added in. Devil Deals. If you can make it through here without losing a single bit of red HP, then you are good. That blue heart that I have is called a soul heart. They can, they're used primarily to protect you, to give you extra heart, but they can also be used as protection for your devil deals and angel deals. Which, uh, basically, if you don't take a devil deal, you have a 50% chance to get an angel deal on the next turn. But if you don't enter your devil deal room, then you have a 100% chance to get an angel deal next time they appear. So, I think I'm gonna go with devil deals for the most part because that's how we unlock one of my favorite characters into this game. Ouch! There goes our soul heart. Now we gotta be extra careful. Ah, stupid horse. Okay. Come on, die. Alright, chest. Another chest. Key and coin. Oh, great. One of these dudes. These red spiders can go and eat it. And we also just lost our guaranteed Devil Deal chance. Oh, uh, come on. Now, what I find is that it's very useful to go and find your item room and, and stuff. So, I'm going to skip the boss, and we're going to go and get our item first. Because on the first floor, your item comes free. But you need keys to get your item rooms for the rest of the game. And then eventually, you'll lose your item room, so... Good luck. Rotten Baby, not the best thing we could have gotten there, but... Okay. So basically what Rotten Baby will do is summon blue attack flies for us to get. Now, let's go ahead and... Duke of Flies. Okay. This guy is also pretty easy. Very susceptible to bomb damage, I believe. Unfortunately, I don't like using my bombs for him, so he's gonna not go down as fast as he would normally. Or maybe he will if I get lucky. Yep. 
honestly, I like saving my bombs for... Also, we just unlocked Monstrous Tooth. I like saving my bombs for something special in this game called Tinted Rocks. We just got dinner, which is an HP up. Yes, that was dog food. And, uh, I want to see if I can spot a Tinted Rock for you guys. After this run. Well, after this floor. <sighs> Bunch of moving horse. Even worse. Now, um, this game is really hard. So, I don't expect to make much progress in an episode. I'm kind of expecting, if I make this a long-lasting series, that it'll- Oh! Gosh, Pride, I hate this. Pride is basically a mini-boss, based off of the, one of the Seth and Deadly Sins. Uh, but I want to make this a series, but I don't expect for it to be that much progress. If you want to get, like, a guide for the game, I'd recommend watching Northern Lion or The Turtle Melon. Because, honestly, what inspired Devil Deal? Unfortunately, I'm gonna have I'm gonna take a risk here and go for both of them. Ghost Baby, not that great. What about the two heart thing? Dang it! Nine lives. That sucks. Uh, pills. Range down. Range down. Lemon party. Okay. But uh, I've been watching the Turtle Melon play this. Play Repentance, and it he does amazing content, and he's also really good at the game, a lot better than me. But I would recommend you start with this Afterbirth Plus series, which is the previous DLC, because he used the same file for both of the series. If you don't care about continuity and just want to see some late game Isaac gameplay, then yeah, go ahead and start wherever you want in the series. He always does fun videos and fun commentary. Anyways, I'm just looking for the item room. Game. Come on. Anyways, uh, we got a giant trail of babies following us, and a cat head. So, I guess I should explain what Nine Lives does, and what Spectral... or Ghost Baby does. Ghost Baby has Spectral Tears. Basically, he can, his tears fly over rocks. Nine Lives took our health down to one heart. And that's not because you traded away hearts to get that. That's how double deals work. It's because... Um... That's the way it works. So, it'll always take you down to 1 HP, even if you don't have it. It's also a guppy item, which is a part of transformations. This game does have that, and it also has stuff like synergies and stuff. But, uh, let's see. I'm trying to focus on not getting hit rather than commentating, which is probably not the best source of action, but that's the way I'm doing this, so... I don't really know how to do this. It's... It's not like I have experience doing Let's Plays on roguelike games. I usually just do stuff on simple... simple games. Anyways, uh, these are bomb flies. They explode when you kill them, or I think if you touch them. And red bomb flies, uh... Just when they die, they explode into a bunch of shots. This is a trinket, one of the many items I mentioned. And what is this? Bomber Boy. So this basically just gave us Bomberman bombs. Alright. Interesting. Oh, crap. Yeah. Honestly, in my opinion, some of the weakest enemies are honestly the most annoying because of how random their movements and attacks are. Like these guys, it's random whenever they pop up. You'll never know. And with the spiders, their entire movements will pop, will, um, be completely random. Anyways, here's Mega Maw. Not Mega Man, Mega Maw. And, uh, he's a pretty difficult boss, although he is stationary. His attacks are pretty weird to dodge, and I am dead. Thankfully, nine lives will allow us to continue. And if we get hit, we have extra health. Which I'm going to have to take. Oh, nope. Oh, nope. I'm trying not to die. Just die, Mega Maw. 
Oh no. No, no, no. Okay, he's dead. Take this. Squeezy, tears up. This will give us two extra soul hearts. So now we have three. It also turns you into one of those things that you squeeze and then the eyes pop out. Not even joking. Look at Isaac. Gross. Anyways, we're gonna hop down. And that was the Caves 1. Now we have the Caves 2 and then the Depths. So... Ah! One of my least favorite enemies sprouted throughout with a bunch of other enemies. Sucks. The hosts are some of the worst, along with grubs. Honestly, every enemy I hate in this game. I play the game because I find it fun. Anyways, we just got 16 cents, which means we can now buy an item if we so care. What on earth is giving us extra heart drops when we get hit? This isn't nine lives, is it? Um. Ooh, trap door. That can either take us to an extra item, or black market, or skip the floor entirely. Looks like it's going to take us to an extra item. Uh, I have no idea what it is. Hematemesis. Hematemesis just gives us a bunch of heart drops, but it also removes you. Obsessed fan follows every move. Um, looks like it's just a fly that follows behind me and then deals extra damage. I'll take it. I mean, I already did. There's not like you. There's a way you can drop passive items. Anyways, um, I guess I should get into this. If you didn't already know, The Binding of Isaac is a game produced by Team Meat, also known as Edmund McMillan and the rest of the developers for Meat Boy. Unfortunately, I don't know all their names. I just know about Edmund because he tends to take a lot of the flack for for the community for some reason. Probably because he's the lead at design, I don't know. But, uh, here we have mini versions of bosses. Mini versions of the Duke of Flies. That's something you'll see a lot in this game, where they'll just have mini versions of an enemy. Here we have Gertie, who is a boss that I don't particularly like. Primarily because he does this. But he's also pretty easy to dodge. And I want to shoot behind him to get rid of those extra spawns that he's putting out. Uh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, Gertie, die. The worst part about Gertie is that if he can spawn things behind him, and then you can't actually re reliably hit them without... because he's so big. Um... Little Chubby has appeared in the basement, and we also got a double deal. Screw what's in here. Another Guppy item. I'm going for Guppy. I unlocked Azazel, my favorite character. Amazing. Unfortunately, that just got rid of our last piece of red health. Which means we are now on a time limit. Or, basically, I have to not get hit in order for us to keep our hearts going. Because as soon as you lose a soul heart, you cannot replenish it. That entire heart container is gone dead forever the depths uh let's see yep these enemies uh really annoying the little grimaces i mean like this face thing these guys will activate as soon as you enter the room and they shoot at you there are a bunch of different types and they'll only some of them deactivate when you kill the enemies others don't also, these ones are really annoying because of those, that extendo neck. I really hate that. Anyways, uh, let's continue killing these things. Okay, we're down to one heart. I'm a little scared. And we just ran into another one of the seven deadly sins, Gluttony. Who is a fatso and can dro potentially drop an HP item. Which I'm hoping they do because I need it. Yes, they did. Amazing. We got a heart. I'm going to take the matchstick because that gives us extra palms. And we got a mega dingle. Who 
poops aren't that really aren't that bad in this game. Like the poop enemies aren't that bad. The bosses can be kind of annoying if you get the golden version. But other than that, it's completely fine. These guys, however, are completely annoying. You have to get behind them to hurt them. And they always try to face you instead. And, like, if you're directly in front of them, they'll move faster than normal. And then that guy's special, his brain pops out for some reason, I don't know. Uh, I like to dub these guys Gary Juniors because they look a lot like a boss named Larry Jr. Anyways, pretty simple. I don't know their actual name. Uh, mini pins? Uh, another boss we haven't seen. Let's see, shop. I want to enter this. Ouch. No, do not hurt me. Nope. Let's go ahead and enter, and nothing. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. what do I want to do? Buy that? I don't even know what that does. Let me Google it. Alright. Platinum God. I've already gotten a view of what it looks like, so I should be able to spot it in here. Uh, let's see. I always have issues spotting stuff from the shop pools because as whenever I try and find it via the search on Platinum God, it doesn't ever tell me the right items. It just shows me a bunch of them randomly. Uh, stopwatch. Here it is. Converter. When used, converts one soul heart into a red heart container. This will take from your soul hearts first. Converter now only costs one soul heart to use. Previously costed two. That actually seems good for us. And the rest of my money I'm going to donate to our donation machine. We want this to reach as high as possible. Not even joking. Donate to your donation machine. It not only serves as a bank, but it also serves as something really useful. It serves as a way of unlocking things for your shop. And upgrading it. Uh, come on. I really hate fighting those things. It's really annoying. Do we have tinted rock? I do not see any. Oh, great. Uh. Brimstone enemies. I'm not going to say what they obviously look like. Everyone knows it. I'm not stating. And. Yep. A bunch of slug brains that shoot out creep. Great. Uh. Let's see. Kill this thing. Thank you. Nothing. Well, here's our boss. And I'm still at 1 HP and pins everywhere. Uh, nope. Nope. Troll bomb. And the cage. Great. I'm probably gonna die here. Oh, nope. Come on, die cage. Oh good, he's going rolly boy. <gasps> nope. Nope. And rolly boy again. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Yep. Okay, he's done. Die! No! Dang it. I never hit up my item room, did I? I never did. Let me go back and do that. Uh, the one bad thing about this is that I'm down a heart, or a life, and this is not the right way. It's a boss trap room, which those, or not a boss trap, but a mob trap. 
which traps you in with a bunch of regular enemies that you have to kill, like a normal room, only you get you willingly can choose. And I usually try not to take them. Ugh, I hate these enemies. Die. Die. Thank you. And little monstro. Buddy in a box appeared. Amazing. Little monstro basically serves as monstro but with a uh, charge attack. He he only performs the charge attack, so he just gives us extra tears. Which means that our pencil is a we don't have to rely on it to get a large burst of damage. Just gotta make sure monstro works. And nope, brimstone. I'm not putting up with this. Die. Oh no. Oh. Uh, that's the worst. That's some really bad damage. Really bad damage. Yeah, this might be where we get stuck. It always sucks when you get in a nine lives loop. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Get out of here, Cage. Nope. Nope. I'm dead. Yeah, we may be in we may be stuck in a nine lives loop, which is the worst thing ever in an Isaac run. Because nine lives always spawns you. The room before you enter in which boss rooms that means that the boss gets all of its health back. Nine lives also only spawns you with one HP every single time you die. How did I not get hit there? I do not know. Okay. Okay. Things are working out. Come on, Monstro. Okay. Dodge. Finally, he's dead. Okay. I dropped. I think that just means that we shoot our tears faster. I don't care. I want to get down to the last floor. And not looking good. Now, these guys are also kind of like Larry Jr. A lot of enemies are like him. And here we have Bomberman himself, Wrath. Hello. Get blown up by your own bomb. And Mr. Boom. I think I'm gonna keep him. It's... Well, no. Soul Converter is something I paid for. I'm gonna keep that. Alright, uh, sacrifice room. It's absolutely worthless to us. Honestly, never take a sacrifice room unless you have a particular unlock that you're going for. I'll let you know when we get to that point. If we ever do! Yeah, I'm not entering that room until I know this room's a dead end as well. This may be the end of us. I think it is. Because Brimstone is honestly my worst enemy in this game. Fish head. I'm not taking fish head. I don't even know what that does. They revealed themselves, which meant I could win. Thank you. Alright, let's go here. I'm not risking that. Bomb bats and regular bats. Or bomb flies and regular bats. Alright, what's down here? Imps and a slot machine, which I could gamble on if I had money. And a big room. Why did I head back in here? Because I'm insane. I don't know. 
I'm just blowing through our lives like a monster. And these guys are really annoying because they chase you. And they have two phases. One where they die, and then they come back. And I'm dead. That was our last guaranteed life. This may be the end of the run. Which I think it is. Yeah, that was it. Okay. What I'm gonna do is just do one run per video, so... With that, we now have Azazel unlocked. Which makes this a heck of a lot easier. Because I'm just gonna show you what she does. You know all that brimstone stuff I was talking about? She uses brimstone. Short range brimstone, but still brimstone. And it is amazing. So we're gonna get into Azazel in the next episode. So if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you get notified in every single one of my videos. Or for every video that you're interested in. I don't really care. Uh, share this video with a friend if you liked it. And this is Lizzie Sands Gaming, signing out.